Hi uh, yo, what is going on guys? It's Ants and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a hardcore Nuzlocke and Pokemon Emerald where we're only allowed to use Pokemon with four times weaknesses. Just want to say real quick before we jump into things, if you're new here and find yourself enjoying the content, do make sure you smash that big red button and say hi down in the comments. So right now, some rules are going to appear on your screen, they're only going to flash up for a few seconds so feel free to pause if you need. And yeah, let's go get into things. So we start off by picking our name as Ant, we go pick our starter as Mugkip. And then we go get into the first battle in May. Now this battle, because we don't have a Pokeballs, the challenge hasn't actually started. So we just gotta go through this fight. We chose Mudkip though, because in future it will evolve into Swampert, where it has a four times weakness to grass. From here, we capture ourselves a Wurmple, because this will evolve into a Beautifly later on in the run. And we also capture ourselves a Wingle as well, our first actual legitimate Pokemon for the challenge. So now we're gonna have to use this Wingle. What we're basically doing is we're just training up in Route 101, switching our Wurmple over into our Wingle so we can actually take down the Pokemon and get some EXP for our other Pokemon as well. After a while of training like this, we managed to get our Wurmple to evolve into a Silcoon, and then we go and move on. Whilst moving on forward, we get into Petalburg Woods and we capture ourselves a Shroomish as this will evolve into a Breloom later on. And we also do some more training here where we go evolve our Silcoon into a Beautifly. Now this has got a four times weakness to Rock, it's gonna be eligible to be used in the run. I'm then also catching myself a Ninkada as well because this will evolve into a Ninjask later on. And we go ahead into Roxanne. Now Roxanne's gonna be very difficult because we've only got two eligible Pokemon right now. And they're both weak to Rock. One's four times weak to Rock as well, so it's not gonna be very easy. We take down the Geodudes pretty easily at least with two Water Guns. One Water Gun taken down each and then after this we get against nose pass so i'm going to start here by going off for a growl and he hits with a rock tomb which does insane damage uh auron is going to put our hp back up a little and we're going to go for a second growl as well now in my mind i was thinking hopefully i'd survive this and it put us down to two hp so now we have to go try and switch into our beautifly who's four times weak against rock and see what we can do now nose pass actually gets a crit there which doesn't help and it just didn't go so well he takes down my beautifly and we put him down into very low life but he also takes down wingle as well so that didn't work so we failed the first attempt and now I have to start again all from the beginning so we do pretty much everything exactly the same and head into roxanne and when we're against roxanne we're going to start off against a nose pass and go for a growl he's going to hit us with a rock tomb which is going to do huge damage a berry gives us a bit of hp back and we're actually going to try supersonic this time in this fight Hopefully this might help, is what I was thinking, but RNG wasn't on my side, so we took another Rock Tomb here because we didn't do a second Growl. We've lost our Wingle, and two more Rock Tombs from here would be enough to take down my Beautifly as well, so we've lost our second attempt too. So we start all over again and get all the way back up into Roxanne. It's not going very well for us at all, but we start off by doing what we normally do. We take down the Geodude with a Water Gun, the second Geodude comes, we take that down with a Water Gun as well, and now we're against Nose Pass. So for Nose Pass, we're going to start off with a Growl because we need to lower that attack if we've got any chance of doing this. Rock Team even misses as well, so that's going to help us out a lot. So we get a second Growl off without taking any damage. And now when he hits us with Rock Team, it's going to put us down to half life. Our Auron Berry gives us some HP back. And now we're going to go for a few attacks on the Nose Pass as well. For some reason they used Harden as well. I'm not too sure why. But you'll see why this is good a bit later on because for some reason Roxanne just threw. We get hit by the second Rock Tomb there, it does a bit more than half life. She uses a potion here after the berry. I'll give it another growl because I know they're gonna heal this turn, so I'll go for that. And then I'll go make this switch over into future. And because it's double super effective, we take a lot of damage. A big crit there helps us out massively though. And Nose Pass hits us with another Rock Tomb, which is going to put us into low life. A Berry heals, which because of this, I think we're going to survive one more. But now she uses another potion, so it's not going well at all. And Absorb's doing really small damage. But here we go. This is what I mean. She was just throwing. She starts using Harden every time. And for some reason, I'm not sure if Rock Tomb like ran out of PP or something, but she started throwing really badly, so... We took advantage of this and just started spamming absorbs until we managed to take down the nose pass. And with this done, we defeated Roxanne. Our level cap now raised to level 19, so again, like we was doing earlier with Future, we're also going to do this with my Mugkip. We're going to lead Mugkip here, and then we're going to go switch into an eligible Pokemon, do some damage, take down the Pokemon, and then both my Pokemon are going to get EXP for this fight. And with this, our Mugkit can go into level 16 and evolve into a Marsh Tomp, which is now an eligible Pokemon. So next up now, against May and Rustaboro City, we have our Marsh Tomp. 
And before too much bad stuff happens against the Wingle because of confusion, I go and make this switch over into my own Wingle, take down their Wingle. And then Trico comes, who's also a two shot to wing attack, so we take that down and it's May defeated. Next up after this, we head all the way up into Doofed Town. We capture ourselves a Geodude. We also capture ourselves a Magikarp. And then we just go and head into the Brawly fight. And we go for two wing attacks here, which will be enough to take down the Matcher. One wing attack after this will be enough to take down the Meditite. And now we're up against our last Pokemon, which is the Maku Eater. Against the Maku Heater here, we go for a wing attack, put it into low life. It's going to get some heal from its Citrus Berry. And because it's used bulk up as well, wing attack's not going to be enough to take this down. So I spam a couple growls, waiting for it to hit me into low life. When it hits me down into low life, I go and make the switch over into my Beautifly. We take a Vital Throw that does about 2 damage. And then we go for a Gust, get a critical hit, take down the Maku Heater. And that's broadly defeated. Now with our level cap at 24, we can evolve a few more Pokemon. Ninkada turns into a Ninjas. And we also get our Magikarp to evolve into a Gyarados as well. So now it's going to start becoming a lot easier for us with this run because a lot of our Pokemon can actually start coming along. And with our team like this now, we go ahead into the May fight on what I think is 207. Anyway, against the Wingle here, we go for a couple moves and take it down. And then when Grovol comes, we go make the switch over into our Gyarados, take and absorb. It also crits as well, and he hits us with two pursuits before we go switch over into our Beautiful. So he's going to hit us with a pursuit. Then from here, we're going to go for a Gust, and that'll be enough to take down the Grovol. And after this Slugma comes, we go make the switch back over into our Marsh Tomp, hit it with a Mud Shot. And that's May defeated. Wally after this, just not sure why this is even being added in, but it's just going to be added in anyway. I think we hit with two tackles and take it down. And then our Shroomish also evolves as well into a Breloom. And with all this done, we go ahead into the Watson fight. So Watson, he's completely free because we've got a Marsh Tomp. So Marsh Tomp here, Mud Shot, one shot the Volt Orb. It's also going to go for another Mud Shot here and one shot the Electric. Then we go one shot the Magneton as well with another Mud Shot. And then after this, it's Manetric, who's actually a two shot to Mud Shot. So we go for the two Mud Shots, take this down, and that's Watson defeated for the third Gym Badge. From here, then we capture a Slugma because it evolves into my cargo and without recording we also caught ourselves a normal as well on route 114 after a bit more training we evolve our wingle into a pelipper and we also evolve our geodude into a graveler and with that done we go ahead into the maxi fight so against maxi here we start off with pelipper and we go make a hard switch into our gyarados gyarados here can go for two dragon rages and that'll be enough to take down the Martiana. we also go for two dragon rages on the zubat and take this down and then lastly against the camera it's also two more dragon rages from here we take this down and that's maxi defeated so from here we move down onto the fourth gym leader flannery and we start off with our gravelly here going for the rollout strategy we hit it with the first rollout then take a magnitude seven hit it with a second rollout that'll be enough to take down the normal Slugma comes, hit with another rollout, take this down. Every time we use rollout, it gets more powerful. So we hit our fourth rollout there on the camera, take this down. And then the fifth rollout on the Torkoal will be enough to take this down as well. And that's Flannery defeated. So not too much happens here from Laverage Town down into Petalburg. We just do a bit of training and head into the fight with Norman. So against the Spindy here, we have Gyarados. And I'm going to switch after it uses Teeter Dance. Switch over into my Nummel. And we go for a Magnitude 8, which will be enough to take down the Spinder. So from here, then Vigoroth comes out. We go make the hard switch over into Gyarados. Give it an Intimidate attack drop. It crits us, so that doesn't help us at all. But basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to have to switch with Gyarados. And start trying to save him to just be an Intimidator. When we make the switch from Gyarados over into uh, Breloom. We go for a Mac Punch and we take this down. And now we've got Linoon. So Linoon's going to hit us with a Slash. It's going to go for a Belly Drum. And then I'm going to also go for a Magnitude as well. We get Magnitude 10. And this will be enough to take down the Linoon. And now we just got Slacking left. So Slacking here. I start off by switching over into my Marsh Tom. Because I know it can take hits better than Pelipper. Then from Marsh Tomp, I actually go switch into Pelipper on a turn that it's loafing around. And we go for what I call the Protect strategy. So we're going to protect every time it can hit us. And then every time it's loafing around, we're going to go get chip damage. Firstly, by laying down a Toxic. And we just continue the process, really. So it can attack this time. We go for a Protect. It can't actually attack us now. Now it's loafing around. We're going to hit with a Wing Attack. And we're just going to keep following up with this strategy until the Slacking goes down to its Poison. And with that done, that's Norman defeated. And we move on. So we go capture ourselves a Magnemite. We also evolve this into a Magneton. And we get up to Route 119 where we get into another fight with May. 
So May here starts off with a Slugma. I start off with Magneton. And because we're in the rain, I know their fire type attacks, if it does hit, isn't going to do too much. So I'll go for a Spark. And we actually take it down as well, first hit. We then take a Fake Out from the Lombre. And we go for two Sparks. And that'll be enough to take down the Lombre. And now against the Groval, we are going to go hit this with a Thunder Wave to begin with. And I'm going to stay in against the Groval as well for a little while before making a hard switch over into my Gyarados. And with the HP that Groval has got left, it's just one Dragon Rage away from being taken down. So we go for this, we take it down, and that's May defeated. Now again, not much happens till we get into the fight against Winona. So we get into this, she starts off with Swablu, we go for a Thunderbolt, and that will take down the Swablu. Now because Altaria is quicker than me and knows Earthquake, I have to go hard switch here over into Gyarados. We dodge the Earthquake because of this. And now we just go take this down with three Dragon Rages. Next up then we got Tropius back, so we go switch back over into uh, Magneton. Taking an Aerial Ace, we go for two Thunderbolts, and that'll be enough to take down this Pokemon. She then sends in Skarmory, and we take this down with a Thunderbolt as well. And then lastly, she sends in a Pelipper, who's also one shot to Thunderbolt, so we take this down, and that's Winona defeated. Moving on from here, we get into another fight with May and Lily Cove. So she's going to start off with her Tropius and we're going to start off with Magneton. And two Thunderbolts here will be enough to take this down. Next to them we got Slugma. So we're going to go make the hard switch over into our Marsh Tom. It uses Harden. And we go for two Water Guns and take this down. Next to them we got Groval. So I switch over into Gyarados. And we go for a Dragon Rage followed up by Strength and take it down. After this then we got Pelipper. So we're going to switch back over into our Magneton. And we're going to go for a Thunderbolt and take this down. And with this done that's May defeated once again so we move forward we catch ourselves a trap inch in the desert we also go get ourselves the root fossil and then we go get this resurrected into a low leap before heading into another fight with maxi maxi here leads martiana so what we're going to do is we're going to start with gyarados we're going to make this switch over into magnum after doing a bit of chip damage and one thunderbolt from here will be enough to take down their first pokemon camera comes after and it's going for an earthquake so we make the hard switch over into Gyarados, dodge this, and we can one shot this with Surf. Next up then comes Crobat, and we stay in for now as well, hitting this with a strength. This is going to put it into low life, and he's also going to use a potion here, so we use this for a free switch into Magneton. Let him use his potion, and then we go one shot this with Thunderbolt. And with that done, that's Maxi defeated. And we also managed to evolve our Marsh Tomp into a Swampert from here as well. With this done, we also do some more training on our Low Leap and get to evolve into a Cradilly. And then we go ahead into the Tate and Liza fight. So Tate and Liza here, very annoying fight. Zatu here starts off with Carmine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a Surf with my Gyarados and try and just do as much damage to these Pokemon as I can. Claydol hits us with a Psychic. And I'm also going to go hit the Exit 2 here with a Toxic. Exit 2's got Synchronized, so it's also going to poison our Pelipper. But Pelipper's going to have to be a sack in this fight anyway, so we do let it go down to a Psychic. After this, we can send in our Magneton. And we've also went for two Dragon Rages here and took down the Claydol. Now with this here, we're going to go for a Thunderbolt on the Zatu. And we also go for a Bolt on the Lunatone, trying to cause a flinch. The Thunderbolt is going to be enough to take down Exit 2 even after a Calm Mound. So now we're just down to their last two Pokemon. I decide I'm going to stay in after this turn because our Citrus Berry gives us a bit more life. And we go for a Dragon Rage on the Lunatone, putting it below mid. We also go for a Thunderbolt on the Soul Rock as well, which puts it into low life as well. And then on the next turn, because it's used Sunny Day. So Soul Rock's had his Citrus Berry activate now and so has Lunatone. And I've switched out Gyarados here because... I have to use a second sack in this fight, and the second sack is Graveler. So we take down the Soul Rock, and next up we go for a Thunderbolt on the Lunatone. Lunatone goes and hits out Graveler with Psychic, and this will take this down. And then we send back in Gyarados. Now Gyarados from here is the quickest, so it's going to go for a Dragon Rage. Take down the Lunatone, and that's Tate and Lars is defeated, coming at the cost of two deaths. Now next up in the Most Each Space Center, we have to get into another fight with Maxi. This one's actually a bit nicer than the other fights, despite being a double battle, because Steven's here and he's going to help us out quite a bit. So what we do here is we start off by going for a Surf, and Surf takes down the camera up and puts a Multienna into low life. And then they send out another Multienna after. Also, I said earlier that Steven helps out quite a bit in this fight, but not always, so I'm going to have to do most of the work still. But thankfully Steven is actually helping this time so he goes and uses a Metal Claw 
and takes down their mighty Anna. And now another camera has come in, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a surf. Unfortunately, it's not enough to one shot this camera because Gyarados isn't a special attacker. And then I go make the switch as well, just because of the swaggers that keep getting used. Metank here finishes off the camera up with a psychic. And now we got a Crobat left as well. So what I'm going to do with Swampert is I'm going to go for a Surf, take down the Martiana, do a bit of chip damage on Crobat before making another switch over into Gyarados. Give both of these Pokemon an Intimidate attack drop. And we're going to go hit the Crobat with a Strength, put it down into low life. And then get hit by Confused Ray as well, which isn't also great because we've been mean look, so we can't actually switch as well. Metank hits Crobat with a Psychic though, and because Crobat's the one who used mean look, I can now switch away from the Confused Ray over into my Swampert. We take a Bite, which does pretty much no damage. Metank hits a Golbat with a Psychic, and we take it down, and that's this fight over. Now with this fight over, I've gotta go get into a fight with Archie now. So Archie starts off with Martiana, I start off with Gyarados and because I'm hating myself in confusion quite a bit at plus 2 attack I am going to go make the switch here over into my Magneton after giving Martiana a Dragon Rage at least so he's got a bit of chip damage and that'll be enough so I can Thunderbolt it with Magneton and take it down. Next up comes in his Crobat so we're going to go for another Thunderbolt here and this will be enough to one shot the Crobat and now we're up against his last Pokemon as well which is Sharpedo so he's going to go for a Swagger. We're going to try to hit our Thunderbolt now that's twice in a row that we've had to make little switches away because of Swagger so then we go and make the switch over into our Breloom and we're just going to go take this down with a Mac Punch instead and with that done that's Archie defeated. Then we head up into Suitopolis City and get into the fight with one, the 8th gym leader of the run. So he's starting off with Love Disc here, goes for a Water Pulse. I prayed it wouldn't confuse me, but it did. But thankfully, we still managed to get off the Thunderbolt. And with this done, that's the first Pokemon down. They send in a Wish Cash after, which is definitely going for Earthquake. So I got to make this switch over into Fish. And it was actually in this fight that I realized. And it's crazy to me that I only just realized now, but I only just realized during this fight or well just remembered throughout that entire run that all water type attacks are special attacking moves. So when I used Waterfall, I was really confused about how much damage it actually did. I go and make this switch over into my Breloom after. I thought to myself, I'm just going to try the Bullet Seed. And then I remembered that this is also a special attacking move here, so it didn't do nothing. I go and make this switch over into my Ninjask because I know it's going to heal, so it's a safe switch. And I go for a sword dance to bolt myself up to plus two attack. He goes for a rain dance, so I go for another sword dance. And it's at this moment here, after we take this water pulse, that I do make the switch over into Gyarados with Baton Pass. Baton Pass is going to keep us at plus four attack. And it was on this very move that I remembered. Because I'm on plus four attack and I've done that much damage to a Wish Cash with Waterfall. I was so confused and then I remembered after I went for strength. So Gyarados, even though he's an A tier Pokemon, isn't so great in this run knowing the moves that it knows because it can't actually sweep using stab moves. What we do here is uh, we just spam strength, we take down all of one's Pokemon and then with that done we've got the 8th gym badge and we go get into a fight with Wally. Wally here starts off with Altaria, we're going to start off with our Magneton and we're going to go for two Thunderbolts, take this down, Delcati after, also one shot to Thunderbolt, go take this down and after this we got Magneton of their own. Magneton hits with Supersonic but we're able to take this down with two Thunderbolts and then now we got Rosalia so I go hit this with a Thunder Wave, switch over into my Ninjask I start setting up some sword dances. So I put myself up to plus four with sword dances. And I hit this with a slash and take it down. The next leave I got guard the bar left. So we hit that with another slash. Take this down and that's Wally defeated. So with this done now, we are going to go make some final preparations before heading into the Elite Four. We go give ourselves the move Substitute. We also get all our Pokemon up to the level cap. And we also go evolve our Trap Inch into a Vibrava as well. Now with Vibrava, we're also going to go evolve this into a Flygon. And we're finally going to go head into the Elite Four as well. So we get into the first fight against Sydney. He sends out his Martiana. I sub up on the first turn. And we dodge a Sand Attack. Then we start setting up some Dragon Dances as well. Dodge another sand attack and because this knows raw i am going to go strength fist at plus one i had to use two dragon dances but because i got intimidated i'm only at plus one now against the absol i finally get myself to plus two with another dragon dance absol here uses sword dance 
So I'm going to go take this down before it can do anything. So I go to plus three against a shift rear. Go here with a strength and it actually survives on like one HP. And now when it goes in heals, I'm also going to use another dragon dance. So now I'm at plus four. I go for a strength, take down the shift rear. Go for another strength on the cacti and then take this down with a one shot. And then next we've got the last Pokemon, which is a Crawdaunt. Plus four strength, one shot, take this down. That's Sydney defeated. And we move on to the second room. So as I was saying earlier about Gyarados, Gyarados can't sweep Phoebe easily because no water moves are physical in this run so we're gonna have to try and find another way around this which involves using a lot of our other pokemon as well so we're gonna go for an earthquake knock the dust cops down into one shot he's gonna hit us with a curse and take himself down but with the curse we're also gonna lose some life of our own every turn as well so stay for one turn here against a bayonet Go for an Earthquake and put this into low life. Take some damage from the Curse, which puts us into mid. And I'm going to switch here into my Flygon while she heals. Now with my Flygon, we're going to spam some Faint Attacks. It's got like 1 HP. It uses a Grudge. So then we go for a Sand Tomb instead because we was going to need Faint Attack more in this fight. Then we was going to need any of our other moves. So now against the Dusclops. We're going to go for a faint attack and I completely forgot this had ice beam so this was quite dangerous actually we almost lost Flygon there. With this though I'm quite worried so I'm going to have to go make the switch over into Gyarados. I'm going to put myself under a substitute and then from this we're going to keep trying to put ourselves under a sub because it's at negative one because of the intimidate and we can get past this from spamming some surfs. We then one shot the bayonet with a surf then we also two shot the sableye with some surfs and that's Phoebe defeated. So after this we get into the third room against Glacier. She's Starts off with a Celio, start off with Magneton. We go for a Thunderbolt and we take this down with a one shot. Next up comes Wolverine. And Wolverine also goes down to a one shot from Thunderbolt too. And after this, we've got Glalie. So Glalie here, two shot to Thunderbolt. Another Celio, one shot to Thunderbolt. So we go take this down. And now we're down against her last Pokemon, which is another Glalie. We go hit this with another Thunderbolt. Take this down with a one shot because of a critical hit. And with that done, that's Glacier defeated. And we move on into the fourth room against Drake. So what we're going to do against Drake here is we're going to lead Gyarados. And we're going to sub up on the first turn while it uses Protect. Now from here we actually put ourselves to plus three on the Dragon Dance. And Shogun still somehow survives the strength. So while they're using Full Restore we Dragon Dance once again. And then I do it one more time as well and put myself to plus five. We go for the strength at plus five and take down the Shogun. Then Salamence comes in. So Salamence Intimidate can't hit us because we're behind the sub. We go for a strength and even this somehow survives as well. Drake's already used his Full Restore though so he's not going to use another one we take down salamence with a strength put ourselves under another sub against the altaria and from here we hit this with a strength take this down we also one shot the kingdra with another strength and then flygon comes who's also another one shot to strength so we take this down that's all of the elite four defeated so now we have to go get into the fight against a champion wallace wallace here starts off with waylord we start off with magneton one Thunderbolt is enough to one shot and take this down. Then next we've got Gyarados. So Gyarados, I was guessing was going to be faster than us and it knows Earthquake. So I just decided to withdraw my Pokemon and go over into my own Gyarados. We dodged the Earthquake, put ourselves under a substitute and now we start Dragon Dancing. Their Gyarados is also Dragon Dancing too so I knew I was going to need to take this down at some point. Otherwise it was going to be pretty bad for me. So I keep spamming my own Dragon Dances. And because it kept trying to break my sub and stuff like that, I decided I was going to put myself away to plus six just to prove to Wallace that he couldn't hurt me. Then I go for the strength, take down the Gyarados, one shot the Tentacruel after with another strength, one shot my Lotic with another strength, one shot the Ludicolo, and now we're up against Wishcash as well, which is another one shot. If we go take this down, and that's Wallace defeated, meaning that we've beaten the challenge and we've beaten the run. I really hope you've all enjoyed this video, and if you have, make sure you like and comment. Also, again, if you're new here and find that you've enjoyed the content, you've made it this far, do remember to smack that big red button because I'd love for you to stick around for future uploads. And yeah, with all that said, it's been Ant, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Peace out, guys.